Well, the state, of course, imposed limits for events during this outbreak, affecting weddings and other gatherings at businesses. And it's been a frustrating experience for the wedding business and couples. Channel 2's Ron Plant says one recent court ruling was seen as a victory for some, but the legal issue is far from decided. It may seem rather far-fetched, but could a federal court case representing this strip club and this bar here in western New York have any connection with a recent decision in a federal court case involving two weddings at this golf club in the village of Akron? Well, the judge allowed two weddings to go forward with more than 50 guests allowed at that club, and that's beyond the state limit. He said there was sufficient room for social distancing. Attorney Steve Cohen feels this court ruling could chip away at Governor Cuomo's executive order power to impose limits on crowds at businesses and guests at weddings. He says it's unfair restriction with ultimate power for the governor, even though state lawmakers granted him that power. This constitutional crisis is far worse. Governors in over 20 states have basically put the Constitution aside. And could it go further? Do I think that this case can go to the U.S. Supreme Court? Absolutely, and I hope it does. Uh, for the sake of my book, for the sake of our grandchildren and our posterity, it's important that someone put a, 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 a gavel down firmly to say, Constitution isn't abandoned because of COVID-19. Now back to the wedding policy. The state intends to appeal the judge's decision, which they claim only applied to the two weddings, and they say that 50-person limit remains in place for weddings, making it frustrating for event planners. We have brides who are on their third wedding date, and um, you know, we a couple months ago were given the okay to operate at 50% capacity, and then a couple days later they said, "No, you can't do that anymore." So these people are—they're crying, they're sad. Um, you know, a lot of people don't want to push their wedding out a year or two. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.